Android 6.0 Marshmallow hasn't been a great upgrade from last year's Android Lollipop, but definitely some things have changed. We have some tweaks here and there that basically complete what Lollipop offered. Today we're gonna explore them with the top 5 Android Marshmallow features. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Number 5. System UI Customization Customization has always been a vital feature in Android and it's probably one of the main reasons of its success. Thanks to the root permissions, custom ROMs and exposed modules, over the years we've been able to tweak and change the UI to our preference. But looks like Google wants to give its users more choice without requiring any modding. In this latest Android version, there's a hidden menu you can activate to enable some little tweaking to the Android user interface. It's just some small things in the quick settings and the status bar, but it's a good start. Number 4. Google Now on Tap Google Now is surely an interesting service. It's supposed to give contextual information when needed, but personally I never made great use of it, apart from the vocal assistant. With Marshmallow, Google probably wanted to add more functionality to Google Now and introduce Google Now on Tap. Just long press the home key and Google Now will scan what's currently on your screen to give you more information on key topics. For instance, it's nice to use with music discovery apps like Spotify if you want more info on the artist you're listening to. It's nothing crazy really, but at least it makes a better use of Google Now. Number 3. Multi-Window Even if it's not completely done yet, Google wanted to release this sort of early access multi-window feature in Android Marshmallow. It's something OEM started implementing by their own in their custom Android skins some time ago. Finally Google reached them and now we got multi-window in the AOSP. Great! I gotta be honest though, it's a nice feature but it's clearly not finished. Most of the time it works fine but sometimes it acts weird. It's not so important after all, but I'm definitely looking forward to a more stable implementation. Number 2. Doze. This is probably one of the best improvements over Lollipop. Doze is basically a deep sleep mod on steroids. It's the same idea behind Greenify, but works even better. Even if I'm using it an official version of CyanogenMod 13 on my OnePlus One, I already notice a great improvement in battery life. There's not much more to say here, but it's just great to be able to get some extra juice from my phone's battery. Number 1. The new permission system. Before Marshmallow, when you had to install an app, be it from the Play Store or directly from an APK, you had to review all the permissions it needed. With Marshmallow, this changed. For most apps, when you install them, you don't see their permissions at all anymore. But when they need some special permissions, a pop-up window comes out and asks you to authorize the app manually. On the camera app for example, the first time you open it, Android asks you if this app has your permission to use the camera module on your device. In my opinion this is the greatest feature in Android Marshmallow. They probably got their inspiration from CyanogenMod Privacy Guard, that basically does the same thing in a somewhat more aggressive way. It's really important to me to preserve my privacy and make sure that the apps I use don't exploit it. So guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.